subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Komodo Dragon. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What is it, Hero? What did you find? Hero, it's an egg. Did you scare the bird away from her egg? An egg is one of the ways a baby animal gets born. Most eggs have shells that protect the baby animal inside. The baby bird will have to crack open the shell and push its way out. See, it's pretty hard. We need to find a warm place to put the egg so that it will hatch. Great idea, Hero. Let's bring it to the tree house. I think the baby bird is coming out. That's weird. Baby birds don't look like that. It's not a bird. It's a lizard. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little lizard. Did you find anything? You're just in time, brother. The computer is looking for information about the lizard. Bingo! This lizard is a Komodo dragon. A dragon? Yes, a Komodo dragon. It's a type of lizard. Despite its name, it doesn't breathe fire. <laughs> it's also known as the Komodo monitor. Where does it come from? Komodo dragons are found mainly on the islands of Southeast Asia. The Komodo dragon you found comes from here. So what do Komodo dragons eat? Komodo dragons eat other animals, such as birds, mammals, and other lizards. It's a carnivore. Baby Komodo dragons eat insects and other small animals. Hmm, there aren't that many insects in our garden. We should bring baby Komodo back to the island it came from. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Hero? <gasps> Baby Komodo is gone! Where did he go? <laughs> Let's follow Hero! There you are, Hero! <laughs> oh no! Baby Komodo is being chased by an adult Komodo dragon! We need to help baby Komodo. What should we do? Wait, the baby dragon is almost at that tree. He's safe if he can climb up. Oh no! A second Komodo dragon appeared. To scare away a Komodo dragon, we need to make loud noises. Loud noises? Okay, hero, you know what to do. Look, the Komodo dragons are confused because of the noise. I've got you, baby Komodo. <laughs> we 
We did it! We found an empty spot in a tree for the baby Komodo dragon! Great work, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found a young Komodo dragon in our garden! We learned that a Komodo dragon is a lizard. So we went to the rainforest and found a safe, empty spot in a tree. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan Taper. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to see what's inside this book? It's filled with animals that can camouflage. Camouflage means the animal can hide in the environment because of its skin or fur. Look, here's a picture of an owl on a tree branch. Can you see it? And this tiger is really hard to see in the high grass. Camouflage helps animals hide from predators. But sometimes it helps the predator so it can sneak up on other animals. Hey, maybe there's an animal hiding in our garden right now. Let's try to find it. How strange. Could this be an animal? Hey, it is an animal. I wonder what animal this is. I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little one. Hi, Katie. So did you find out what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a baby Malayan taper, also known as an Asian taper. A Malayan taper? There are five different types of tapers, but Malayan tapers are the only tapers found in Asia. Why does the baby taper look so different from its mother? That's because the fur coat of the baby taper acts as camouflage and helps it blend in with the forest floor. It makes it hard for other animals to hunt them. When the Malayan taper gets older, its coat starts to fade and it will look just like its parents. I see. What about the food they eat? Malayan tapers feed on leaves, fruits, and plants. They use their long snouts as hands, which they use to pick their food. That sounds handy. Malayan tapers live in rainforests in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. It must be lost without its mother. And its camouflage doesn't work very well in our garden. We should bring it back home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the baby taper would love that. See you downstairs. everyone. We're getting close. What was that? Did anyone hear that? <laughs> ah! Look how fast Baby Taper can run. Oh no! The tiger is trying to catch the Baby Taper. Hero, be careful! Wait, they're coming back! Leo, use this! Good idea, Katie. Let's hope this works. Now! now! 
Now let's get the jeep here. The tiger didn't appear yet, so I think it worked. But what about Hero? Don't worry about Hero. His nose can lead him here. Quickly, let's go in the jeep. Oh no! Something's coming. Hero! Hero. Good work, Hero. Now let's go. We did it! We found the baby taper's mother! Great work, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found a baby Malayan taper in our garden! We learned that the Malayan taper lives near riverbanks with lots of shade. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The greater mouse deer. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo and I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. I'm picking blueberries. Look how ripe they are. Mmm, and they taste really fresh and sweet. Let's pick blueberries together. It'll be fun. That's strange. Where have the blueberries gone? They were right here a moment ago. Look, they're disappearing. What is it, Hero? Is that a deer? Hmm, it looks like a deer, but it's so small. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little guy. Hi, Katie. So if it's not a deer, what is it? Hi, Leo. The animal you've just found is a mouse deer. It's called a mouse deer because it has hooves, like a deer. But its face and body is similar to that of a mouse. There are different types of mouse deer, and the one you found is called a greater mouse deer. Why is it called a greater mouse deer? That's because of all the different mouse deer, it's the largest. Still, mouse deer are small in size compared to other hoofed animals. In fact, they are the smallest hoofed animals in the world. Being small helps them hide better in the wild. They have long, pencil-thin legs that make them quick on their feet. They are also nocturnal animals, which means they are active during the night. This is why the mouse deer is almost never seen. I see. We almost missed it eating our blueberries. The greater mouse deer likes to eat fruits, but they also eat leaves and aquatic plants. By the way, it lives in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Hmm, I don't think there are enough blueberries in our garden. We should return it to its home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. I guess we'll have to walk the rest of the way. Come on, everybody. <laughs> what is it, Hero? The mouse deer is gone? Where is it? It's so hard to see anything here. What was that? The mouse deer might be in danger. Hero, lead the way. <coughs> the mouse deer is trapped. 
This must be one of the animal traps Ranger Rocky warned us about. I can't lift the door. I think there's some kind of lock on it. That's it, Hero. Let's all dig a hole together. That's a great idea. We can make a tunnel for the mouse deer. Almost there. It's still not big enough. We can use this. It's working. You can do it, Mouse Deer. We did it. We saved the Mouse Deer. Yay! Look, another Mouse Deer. And they recognize each other. We did it. We found the Mouse Deer's home. Great job, everybody. Hooray! Yay! a greater mouse deer in our garden. We learned that the mouse deer feeds on fruits and plants and lives close to water and forest undergrowth. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Plantain Squirrel. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, this is my collection of seeds. Seeds come from plants, and they make the same plants. Seeds come in many different shapes, colors, and sizes. I want to sort all of them into these bowls. The small ones go here, the long ones go here, and the big ones go into the last bowl. Hey! Are you eating my seed collection? Hmm, I think it's a squirrel, but it sounds like a little bird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. I sure did. It seems that the squirrel you found is a plantain squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in trees, and they belong to a group of squirrels called tree squirrels. As a tree squirrel, the plantain squirrel is a very good climber. Its curved claws provide a good grip when it climbs trees. It uses its long and bushy tail for balance when it jumps from place to place. The tail of our squirrel doesn't look very long and bushy. That's because it's very young. It's only around five to six weeks old. Baby squirrels at this stage are around half the size of an adult squirrel. I see. So what kind of food do plantain squirrels eat? Normally, plantain squirrels eat fruits, seeds, insects, and sometimes even bird eggs. But since the squirrel you found is still a baby, it needs to feed on its mother's milk to grow into a strong adult squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Then let's go there and return the baby squirrel to its nest and mother, since it still needs proper care and food. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. What do you see, Leo? There's a nest up in that tree. Maybe it belongs to the baby squirrel's family. Come on, everybody. Let's have a look. It doesn't seem very friendly. It's flicking its tail and chittering very loudly. It's trying to scare us away. This nest must belong to that squirrel. I guess we should keep looking. 
Don't worry, little friend. We'll make sure we find your home. Another nest. Maybe this is its home. Oh, no! We have to save it. I can't climb this tree. I'll use my propeller. No, Leo. The propeller might hit the squirrel. Use your jetpack instead. You're right, Katie. Here I go. <laughs> oh, no. It's too late. Whoa! That was amazing, baby squirrel. That was exciting. I guess we better go somewhere else. Goodbye, little friend. We did it. We found the baby squirrel's home. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! We found a baby plantain squirrel in our garden. We learned that plantain squirrels sound like birds when they chitter and that they are amazing tree climbers. So we went to the forest and brought it back home to its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Equatorial Spitting Cobra. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. I wonder where that frog is going. Let's follow it, too. Careful, Hero. You'll scare the frog away. Huh? Something else is hidden inside the bush? Ah, a snake! Better keep a distance, Hero. It's a snake in our garden. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Yikes! Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The cobra you found is an equatorial spitting cobra, also known as a black spitting cobra. It is called a spitting cobra because it is able to shoot venom from its fangs. Venom is a toxin, like poison, and is found in some animals such as cobras. Venom can be passed to a person or another animal through a bite or sting. Many cobras defend themselves by injecting venom through their bite, but a spitting cobra prefers to spit or spray venom at a predator's eyes to scare them away. The spitting cobra wiggles its head the same way your eyes move. This helps the cobra's aim when it sprays its venom. That's scary. Actually, spitting cobras are shy animals. They only attack when they feel threatened. Still, equatorial spitting cobras can shoot venom up to three meters away, so it's best to keep your distance. I'll make sure to remember that, Katie. Equatorial spitting cobras live in different forests in Southeast Asia, where they eat small animals like lizards, frogs, and rats. Hmm, I don't think it's safe for us to be near the spitting cobra. We should return the cobra to its natural home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought a special friend with you today. Here, 
You'll need these if you're going to be near that spitting cobra. Glasses? Safety glasses, Leo. The venom from spitting cobras can harm your eyes. That's why it's very important to wear these glasses for protection. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Thank you Ranger Rocky. Rocky. What's wrong with the cobra? The spitting cobra is getting into a defensive pose. Why does it keep flicking its tongue? Spitting cobras have a very good sense of smell. They use their tongues to pick up scents in the air. Do you think it might have picked up the scent of a predator? <laughs> <gasps> they don't look very friendly. They are mongooses. It says here that the mongoose is the cobra's natural predator. Did you see that? The cobra sprayed venom at that mongoose, but the mongoose looks fine. It says here the mongoose is resistant or immune to cobra venom. That means cobra venom has no effect on the mongoose. What do we do now? We're surrounded. I'll clear a path for us. Thanks, Katie. Hold on tight, everyone. Goodbye, little friend. We did it. We found the spitting cobra's home. Great job, everyone! Yay! We found an equatorial spitting cobra in our garden. We learned that the spitting cobra can spray venom when threatened. That's why it's best to keep a safe distance from the spitting cobra. So we went to the forest and brought it to its natural home, far away from other humans. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there. Yeah. <laughs>